Welcome back Barbarians. Today's the day we're going to put it on the phone and test things out. So dropping it onto the phone, all you got to do, open up your build settings. We're going to do Android today, so make sure you're in Android mode and your phone should appear if it's if it's plugged in, right? Your phone should appear right here in your list. Make sure your, your phone is in developer mode. Even though my phone is in developer mode, I sometimes have issues where it will not recognize my phone and won't connect. So what we do is we go in here to the settings and go to the developer options. We will toggle off USB debugging. We will USB debug authorizations. I'm gonna unplug the thing. I'm going to enable debug uh, debugging again. Come on, there we go. Enable debugging once again and replug it in. And that should refresh the, the connection with your computer. Let's see. Sure enough, there you go. My phone is good to go. So uh, just wanted to share that because that's one of the things that, um, that I've run into from time to time is really frustrating. I'm gonna build it, uh, build and run as an APK and try it out. First thing I identified was that the spacing of these eggs didn't match this screen and the phone. Now I did use my usual trick of doing the scaling here to make sure that everything was dynamic and it is. Originally I was placing the eggs using the transform dot position and uh, I just imagined that that was in canvas space because it's a, a canvas based object that's not the case if when I looked in the editor I found that there were fractional spacings between the eggs despite the fact that I was using you know whole number pixel spacing here and so that tells me that there was a transform taking place and when I said set the eggs transform position at this position that in canvas space then there was a transform taking place and um, that wasn't exactly what I was getting so instead of putting it on the transform position, we need to put it on the rect transform. So we need to get hold of the rect transform and use the anchored position instead of transform position. Apparently those are different. Those are not just aliases for the same value. Those are apparently a transform to get in between them. So I put that in and that got the egg spacing correct. The next thing I found was that I really wasn't happy with that dynamic joystick that I originally went with. Yeah, I was finding it sort of hard to control. So I've tried the various joysticks and I think I have resolved that I like the floating joystick the best. Although now I do want to remove the background. The other thing that I noticed right away is that I don't want to support portrait mode. So we'll go into the player settings and we'll disable those. Okay. Rotation mode confirmed. The joystick is now invisible. I like that. I think I like this joystick mode better. Okay, that feels pretty comfortable. Um, I think we're good with that. So here's my to-do list. In order to turn this into an MVP, I think this is what I've got to have. Um, I need some text in game, particularly, gotta say game over when you lose. Pause menu. Uh, and then we need some kind of level progression. Uh, right now, the level just leaves you in like a soft lock condition if you beat the, beat the current sequence. 
So um, I'll need to set up something. The fire button is just using the default art. I'm put something on there. The start menu, I identified on the phone the buttons. I don't think they're large enough. I'd like them a little bit larger. We don't have any music in the game. So get the music in and then the power-ups. We don't have any of the power-ups in the game. It's, it's pretty limited. Um, and also I want to insert some way to purchase items. And so I'm gonna make those purchasable, I think. Um, so blaster and missiles. And then finally, we wanna put in ads. That's the whole purpose of this is to get ads in. And I think at that point we could put in ads. We do need a little bit of a design work on where these things fit. So uh, that's, um, that's something we'll be working on. Okay, uh, let's call that for today, short one. Game runs, it's on the phone, and here's our list of what I've got to do from here on out.